going to bring the quality in this one. This, of course, a big matchup, a big battle, the under 87 kilogram contest. Well, here he comes, Vladislav Larin. So here we go in the men's middleweight contest. It's time for Vlad. Big ask, big moments. And Team Brazil showing what it's like, Sarah, doing really, really well. Well, a great night for those. You're, they're going to get three medals tonight, regardless. I mean, they're really developing in their, you know, bringing everyone together, training together. And this is the fruits of their labour tonight. As you say, bearing fruit here. Final prayers and thoughts for both men. Big opportunities. Doesn't get bigger than this. World Championship gold at stake. Laren against Martin Suarez. Martin Suarez, of course, the Brazilian in red. The shorter of the two. Vladislav Laren. Stands at six foot two. So just a shade under six foot for Martin Suarez. And the reason that's relevant is that he can be used to being the smaller man in the fight. Can he use that to his advantage in this one? Good start from Laren. Had a difficult run at it in the semi-finals. Can he go one better here and grab gold? Well, he's got a silver medal to his credit. Can he step it up here, become the world champion as Martin Suarez goes for the headshot? And it's the customary feeling out process at the start of this one. Gamjum for blocking of the knee for Lauren. It's a, such a strong, tall competitor, really hard to score on. Yeah, he does have that formidable focus and physicality. Goes with a, a push kick to the body, stabs it out there. Martin Suarez concedes the ground and lands a punch of his own, though. Not bad from the Brazilian, good fake as well. They're trying to create space for that headshot. Halfway through the first. I think the Brazilian team have been really working really hard on that. A lot of them have that, trying to use that fake, which has kind of disappeared a little bit the last few years. It doesn't disappear there, tries a punch on the inside. He's been aggressive as Martin Suarez has that one gam jump. Vladislav Larin started slowly in the semi-final. Been a patient start from the Russian in this one. Half a minute to go. Good fake again from Suarez. Even if you don't do anything after, sometimes just to let them know that you're there, that you're there, focused, ready to go. As you say, intimidating, faking and killing a little time as well. And we keep towards the end of this first round. Vladislav Laren tries with a back leg turning kick. Likewise, Martin Suarez in red. Neither man really getting too far ahead. But if you're coming into this one as Martin Suarez. And emerging from the Russian corner is Vladislav Laren. Well, the coaching information. Pay dividends down the stretch here into the open stand. Straight away there, Vladislav Laren trying to change things up a little bit. As you mentioned, Martin Suarez trying to get his leg up high. Punch, not so much power on it. But enough to give the Russian a pause for thought anyway. Bit more of a dominating start from Larin. As you see, he gets close with that headshot, little step out double as well. Beginning to go through the gears now. Suarez looking a little bit on the back foot, needs to get his movement back in the game. 
Yeah, so precious little for Suarez to do at the moment. Likewise for Adam Amawi, just the one Gamjong given, and that's all that separates them here. A super stalemate as the legs tangle. Both men have tried four, maybe five punches. A sign that they haven't quite got the distance yet, and that is testament to both, both spoilers, both defensive styles. Who's going to break with character and come forward? 40 to go in this second round. So obviously, we want entertainment, we want big flashy kicks as he flashes a headshot, lands to the body though. And that patience gives way to an opportunity for Martin Suarez. Half a minute. Excellent punch there from Suarez. Starting to find where the gaps are for him. Oh, excellent push there. Yeah, as you see, Vladislav Larin pushes himself back into this contest now. Flicks one to the face there, lands it nicely. And this one beginning to bubble under nicely as we go towards the end of the second round. Martin Suarez had the best of the first. But Vladislav Larin responding really well there. Great. A gear that, you know, the, other, the opposition probably hasn't got. Exactly right. Well, he went from tactical mode into fight mode there, did Vladislav Larin, turning it on. And something in the demeanour changes, the eyes change, and the champion emerges. Got the aggression, but Martin Suarez has shown that ability to come forward. But Larin, from being patient and being calm, is much more up in the face now of the Brazilian. Good shot on the inside, good block as well. back into the clinch, they were in the open stance but no open scoring the fans trying to give some encouragement to Vladislav Larin who's gone a little bit quiet again but you get the feeling that Martin Suarez is saving something up here he has to go for it oh, front leg to the head taking the head guard off standing count for Suarez Three points for Larin. Standing count indeed, and an outstanding headshot for Vladislav Larin. He extends that lead with a nice body shot. Well, you called it earlier on, the champion mindset coming out. Suarez gets the punch on the board, cuts it to a five-point deficit. Still a minute to go, but that massive head kick making the difference at the moment. Good double on the inside from Suarez, heating up now. Larin still staying quite calm, composed, doing whatever he needs to do to win without losing control. As you see, trying to control the outer reaches there. Nice footwork from Larin. Well, we saw the kicking skills. Hook kick round the corner. Perfection. Textbook stuff there. Adam Awawi giving the gam jump for holding. And Vladislav Larin saying, I want the video replay card played for that. So obviously you can't grab and kick to the back of the head. That's Adam Awali's perspective. According to the head of team meeting, you can't do those kicks to the body, but you can to the head. So let's have a little look and see here. No question about the connection. It's just the work done before it. The athlete's having a worthy rest with 30 seconds to go. It's always quite nice. Exactly much needed still only a four-point game and Martin Suarez I got three seconds. that must be 30 seconds in Russian even I got that one there you go happy with that <laughs> but time is on the side of both what does the video replay juror think the unsuccessful card is gone so the referees union in full effect Hadislav Laren has the lead Martin Suarez trying to come forward, good counter from the Russian, drops in the back kick, takes the double point score, and in the flick, he's changed the whole dynamic. Just shows, doesn't it, that, that experience, that class. You don't want what Larin's won without showing us all these, what he's doing now. Yeah, he's got the ability 
he's got the quality and he's turned on the style here. Martin Suarez has fought for this silver. He's going to end the match on the mat, dragging up everything he's got here. Last 10 seconds now, Ladislav Larin extends the lead, makes it look relatively comfortable in the end. He had to fight all the way through. The Russian took silver last time out. And it's glorious gold this time. Vladislav Larin laps it up here in Manchester. What a winner, what a match. And he makes it right to the top. And Carol Miguel, Martin Suarez takes their claim in the centre. Silver for Brazil. But Larin, the marksman, says Vladislav Larin mirroring yourself there, grabbing that World Championship title. And Larin. Creative, expansive, and in the end, very, very impressive. The big win for Vladislav Larin. Suarez with an excellent silver. But he was too far ahead and too good in the end there. Russia taking the title, and they will take to the stage to get their medals in just a couple of moments' time. The big headshot seals the deal. Larin leads and has the laugh laugh. Russia, success, and there's the man.